At a cocktail party, the man fell in love at first sight with a woman, only to discover she was the daughter of his parents' sworn enemy. In order to keep her by his side and torment her, he used her brother's life as leverage, forcing her to become his mistress. Well, I'm here. Where's my brother? What have you done to him? You sure you want to talk to me like that? What do I need to do for my brother's life? Strip. What? What are you, some kind of pervert? What about that woman who just left? Was she not enough for you? You know, you should really be careful. Too much sex might cause me. Let me go! What's this? Flirting? Huh? Hey. You think I can really forgive you for everything that you've done? Huh? Take a good look at yourself. You think you're so pretty. You know, all the guys are going to be falling at their feet for you. Or is it really you who's seducing them? You should really watch what comes out of your mouth before you speak. Put that on. You got 10 minutes. Get ready. Oh. What, you need me to help you undress? No! Due to the untimely death of my parents, leaving Ferrison Holdings without any leadership, I hereby transfer full management to my fiance, Eric Luciano, until my brother comes of age, at which time other arrangements will be made. And now, a few words from Mr. Luciano. As my fiance, you should really be on stage with me. Why did you announce I was your fiance? What are you thinking? Because I had to give them a reasonable explanation. Now that you have the company, aren't you satisfied? Not even close. I'll never be satisfied until I have you. What the fuck is he talking about? Okay, but I... I know that I'm no match for you, okay? So just tell me what you want, okay? Whatever you want, I'll, I'll do it. You think I'm a fool, don't you? It seems like you need to be punished to see fucking reality. What? Afraid to be seen? I don't know what you're talking about. No one's gonna come save you even if you scream your lungs out. And I'll do it. Make one more sound. Your brother doesn't live to see tomorrow. Your ankle really hurt? What is this? Another one of your cheap little tricks. No, it, it, it really. Whatever. My brother, he's been shot. You have to take him to the hospital, please. Just. He'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll make sure he's breathing so he can take punishment for every single one of your disobedient actions. You'd be so careless, you little fool. What are you doing? Ah, what the fuck? What sick game are you playing? You ask me what I'm doing, I'm checking to see if your ankles really hurt or not. By putting bandages on it? What are you suggesting, huh? Remember, you're just my play toy, and I'm making sure my play toy is functioning properly. Or I can check to see if your ankle's really hurting or not. <laughs> so that's why? So that's why you stopped me from stripping over and over again? Because you like watching people suffer? Why, oh, you should have just led with that. And I would have broken my ankle for you since the beginning. 
you call this pain? Breaking your ankle? You have no idea what real pain is. You murdered my parents in front of me. You kidnapped my brother and you imprisoned me. How dare you say that I don't know what real pain is? I know what real pain is when I see your little brother slowly missing body parts. Go ahead, shoot him. You're not planning on letting him go anyway. You're just gonna torture him? I'd rather you kill him and just be done with it. Flex TV, an exciting world of trending dramas.